So here in Photoshop, we're going to have a look at how we repeat a pattern or make a pattern in Photoshop by using some of the transform tools, in particular the rotate transform tool. So I'm going to come up to a window workspace and make sure first of all that I'm on the essentials view and then also hit reset essentials. That's just going to make sure that we're all looking at the same thing on screen as we're running through this. So I'm going to come to my paintbrush tool across on the left hand side and we're going to keep this brush nice and small so somewhere between 9 and 12 pixels will be good um, for this particular document. I'm working with a letter size uh, document and then I'm going to change the color here uh, just for a bit of fun so we'll select the foreground color and then just change that color up a little bit so we have a colored line rather than a black and white line. So now I'm just going to come across onto my layers panel and make a new layer first of all. So we want this image to be on its own kind of blank layer and now I'm going to just draw a kind of squiggly line towards the middle here and you can play around with this uh, once you've figured out how to do it and figure out which lines are going to be best for you. You can also do more than one line so if we grab a different color here we'll grab a nice brighter kind of yellow or orange uh, from here and then we'll pop this next to the purple. Now these are on the same layer so we're going to be moving them as one object. So basically we've got those two lines on one layer. We're going to go to Edit, Free Transform and in some of the newer versions of Photoshop the anchor point in the middle here is not always visible. You can turn it on and off by clicking this button up here. So if you're using CC 2019 then you'll need to make sure that anchor point is on because we want to pull that down to the bottom right so that it snaps to the bottom right of that image. Now if I move this just a little bit, so we're going to go for 10 degrees and hit enter. Now this is where the shortcut comes in. So I'm going to hold down Shift, Command, Alt and T and that is going to repeat the transformation. So basically my transformation now is going to repeat round and you can see in my layers panel I'm basically getting lots and lots of layers there and as we keep coming around we'll eventually come back to the beginning. Now by making this line and the rotation exactly 10 degrees we've got a kind of nice evenly spaced uh, line there and if we come to our layers panel we could either select all those layers right click on them and then merge them together so we can merge those layers or we could create a group from those layers if we wanted to keep them individual but still have things a bit more organized in our layers panel. So I'm going to merge all these layers for the moment and then I'm going to go to edit and free transform again and you can see if I zoom out here so command or control the minus we've got that whole pattern even though it kind of went beyond uh, the edges of the screen. And there's a little bit to fix in here but we're not going to worry about that for this quick example. So one other way that we can do this transform, um, if we just move this up to the top left and I'm going to transform this down a little bit more. And this isn't a smart object so as I'm transforming it I'm losing quality as I'm making it smaller so we wouldn't want to increase the size of this. But if I go to edit free transform now and just transform this down a little bit and move it and hit enter and if I use shift alt command or control on the PC and T then it's going to repeat that transformation so it's going to gradually get smaller and smaller and again you can see those layers stacking up again. So now if I select a layer here I can move it individually and so I've got multiple versions of that pattern but at different sizes. So that's basically how to create a pattern uh, from a single sketch or drawing in Photoshop um, using the shortcut on the Mac, Shift, Alt, Command and T to kind of repeat the transformation but also make a duplicate. And then on the PC it would be Shift, Alt or Option and Control and T to do the same thing. So I hope that's useful if you're trying to make these kind of repeated uh, patterns in Photoshop. Uh, if you have any questions about this particular method, then leave a comment below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.